are dirty holes dangerous to stick your bolt shafts into? I hope you appreciate the fact I'm not going further into this joke. Basically, are wedge bolts dangerous if you don't clean the hole of all the dust super well, or at all in this case in this video? This topic has been brought up many times because as we have learned in the Bolting Bible and every forum online, cleaning your holes, glue or mechanical is super important and we're gonna talk about dirty holes in this episode. Enough of the damn intro. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Bolly Hutton and I'm not gonna milk this innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> so this was actually, it's been requested by a few people, but um, Mikey Schaefer requested this. He's a guy um, who climbs real hard, much harder than I do. And he puts in routes uh, ground up and using a hand drill, like 13, 14 is much harder than I can climb. And without the top rope. Yeah, without the, <laughs> the line. <laughs> um, so scenario is um, you're climbing and then you get to a stance, you're putting in the bolt and you have to hold that stance while you're drilling and- Hand drilling. Hand drilling. Uh, on a 513 stance. Yes. Um, <laughs> and you don't want to take the time between taking the drill out and maybe you're clipped to that drill, taking that out and putting the bolt in to stand there and brush the hold while you're holding a 513 stance. And so he was curious um, if it makes a difference if the hole is not clean. So this is our control. We got a little ahead of ourselves installing this. Uh, we, otherwise, we'd show you how clean it is. Um, just this have to is take our word for it. <laughs> dirty the other holes are. Mm. That is dirty. Wow. It feels so wrong, Bobby, just to be pounding that into such a dirty hole. Yeah, let's see what happens. So these bolts that we're using are DeWalt power studs. So this is a DeWalt power stud. Uh, this is the original version. It does not have any fancy numbers or letters at it, like the DeWalt power stud SD6. Uh, this is a bolt that I use most of the time. This is a 3 8 bolt. All right. Stop, oh, stop. Oh, I'm so glad those haul bags are there. The bolt started to come out and then snapped. This is here. We have no idea where the actual head of the bolt is. Clean hole, control, 37 kilonewtons, which is higher than what we expected with these bolts. We've done some other tests that we will show here. And... <laughs> what am I supposed to put in the corner, Bobby? <laughs> the, bolt, the bolt's breaking in concrete. Oh, yeah, 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 gotcha. All right, we'll put that in the screen. Uh, what are we testing now? So we are testing dirty holes. All right, let's start breaking them. This is a dangerous one, because it flies. Stop. Uh-oh, it's the same result. Where's our... Where's the bolt? So, I'd like to note that all of these hangers we're using are, I believe, 25 kilonewtons in BS. That's a pretty good result. Oh, yeah. Whoa. More than full strength. Well, not technically. The hanger is breaking. This is a 25 kilonewton MBS climb tech hanger that's very warm. Don't touch that. Very disappointing, we cannot validate the things we've been teaching in the Bolting Bible. Similar results, 32.86. 
So we teach in the Bolting Bible to properly clean your holes. Today, though, we were unable to uh, see why that's important with these bolts. Also with glue-ins, we've done some testing in dirty holes, this video right here. And we, with the glue that we use, the bolts that we use, we have not seen that make a difference either. We believe it affects uh, lower grade glues such as polyester, maybe vinyl ester. We have yet to see a situation where a dirty hole breaks any less than full strength. I am still going to clean my holes because it's been so ingrained in me to do so and it is the proper thing. And in the industrial world, they make a big deal about cleaning the holes. And so I can't say not to do it. It's just a lot of our bolt buster tests, we have not been able to prove why. But if other people are going to depend their lives on something you're putting in, just do it to the best standard you can possibly do it. However, if somebody's putting in a 513 and scared out of their mind, it's fine in that situation. I, I'm not going to judge them. I'm going to be very impressed that they did that on lead at all, because I can't even top rope a 511. So while we're on the dirty hole topic, uh, the other kind of bolt that we like to use is these concrete screws. The Titan HD, Simpson HD, Strong Tie, yeah, it's a big name. Anyways, links in the description below. Most of our tests, the things that are holding the Bolt Buster Hydraulic right now are these, because they're pretty damn strong. And we tested some really thick hangers and they were snapping the heads off above 40 kilonewtons. We really like them, they're easy to take out when we're done doing things like this when we clean up and patch the whole area. However, you don't want the dust at the bottom of the hole so much where you can't even put the bolt in, but as this grinds down the sides, it's kind of making more dust. And so to sterilize a hole for this, it obviously isn't that important. For the glue-ins, we've done a lot of tests and today we've done a lot of tests. Put in the comments below what you think. We learn a lot from you guys. Read the comments below because I'm sure you'll learn more than what you saw in this video. Read the Bolting Bible if you wanna see everything about bolting that I could find on the internet. We're gonna have a lot in our 2021 version, which may or may not be out by the time this video comes out. That thing's taking me forever because everything in the Bolt Buster chart, everything we've ever broken, we're putting in some really nice bite-sized content so it's easy for you to digest the whole thing in like 20 minutes, stuff that took us years to learn. All the links for the resources we have, which are free, are going to be in the description below. And they all start with slacklane.com slash something. So if you just go to slackline.com, you'll find it all. Thank you, Bobby, for donating your bolts so we could test this episode.